Hey again, and welcome back to my craft room. Uh, this is card number three. Forgive me, I'm still tidying up from card number two. This is card number three in my Fragrant Flowers product class for February 2023. Absolutely adore this stamp set. That's probably why I chose it for this month's class. Um, slightly different one this time, a little bit more simple. Um, three cute yellow flowers there this time rather than the fresh freesia and we're using the stitch sentiment box from the dies as well and I've popped this one through my favorite painted textures embossing folder so yeah the white panel there just really nice lovely simple um, we said hello here obviously you could use whatever sentiment you want if you, you want to use this one for a birthday card or, or something like that but it's just really really sweet okay we'll get on with this so we'll pop things aside this is a daffodil delight card base this time so nice and bright and happy uh, eight and a quarter by five and a half and scored in the middle for a normal size card this is actually going to be a landscape card so it's going to fit sit um, lengthways um, this time I did actually give myself a panel for the inside obviously I was a bit slack with the other two must have been in a, a white cardstock saving mode so pop, I always just pop it in first because then I've got one less thing to worry about on the craft table. We'll pop that on there. Give it a bit of a burnish before everything goes on. Um, really not much with this card at all. Um, you've got your pre-embossed panel which uh, layer which I'm going to pop on just straight onto your card base. It's quite a heavily embossed um, pattern this uh, painted um, painted textures so um, use a fair bit of glue or to be extra safe use um, sn uh, snail or double-sided tape instead but yeah so you will have to make sure that one gets glued down okay um, you've got your sentiment box here this as I say this is this stitched banner sentiment box from the die set so very very handy um, I might do that now I'm just going to use the hello again and I'm just going to do it in black ink and I'm not going to bother about that little um, extra piece that we have done we, we did with the other two cards I'm just going to have a straight hello now with your hello it's a, a little bit shorter than the sentiment box so keep your sentiment to the left hand end of that sentiment box we're going to cover the right hand end with our flowers I'm just going to bring that closer to me just forgive me while I can get over the top of it and make sure I'm straight it wasn't too successful with the previous one so there we are so there's our little hello there so that's done we'll pop that to one side uh, with this one you'll need three flowers as, as with the other one I've already done two of them so I'll just show you how to color the third one this time we're using light and dark daffodil delight and as we did with the first video I'm just going to grab the dark daffodil delight and sort of go into the crevices a wee bit this stamp sets fairly small uh, this image is fairly small and uh, and uh, involved so it's just a matter of hopping in don't go too mad I think it's a fine balance between having too much dark and, and not enough especially on a small image like this okay so I'm just coming now back with the brush end of my light daffodil delight and with those little circular motions just blending that in as I mentioned before I think you'd probably get away with one color with these especially with these little images it's a bit hard to get enough area to make it really stand out but there we are that's done okay again I've seen this a few times now grab your grab your um, old olive your dark old olive and Where the shadows would be and 
And the light one. I'm using the um, pen end of this one rather than the um, brush end and that's because I've been a bit rough with the brush end and it's gone a bit tattered. So I'm sticking to the pen end just to save it a wee bit. You have to be a bit careful with your blends because that brush end is quite sensitive. Okay, so we have three little cute yellow flowers okay so I might wink of Stella them and I'll do it before I put them on the card this time to make it a bit easier so just squeeze that get some wink of Stella out don't over squeeze your wink of Stella oh my goodness if it comes out in a big blob you're uh, it's a bit tricky to clean up had a few Wink of Stella accidents over my time. Just needs to have a very gentle squeeze, nothing too, nothing too outrageous. Um, yes, because if it comes out, you probably need to start again if it comes out in a big blob. And it doesn't matter if you don't think it's coming out. It, you look at bring it up to the light and you know you can see straight away that it has yeah cool so there's our three little wink of Stella flowers okay so what we're going to do now is pop our sentiment box up on some dimensionals and pop it sort of it's not in the middle of the card it's more to the bottom the bottom third over to the right if that makes sense I just sort of the off center sort of gives it a a wee bit of interest that you don't get if it's smack bang in the middle. Now, keeping that in mind though, this little flower here is going to be at the bottom and it can't overlap the edge of the card. So if that would be my position there and it's overlapping the edge of the card, so I'm going to have to move everything just up a wee bit just to get it off the edge. So that's, that's the placement I'm going for there sort of roughly just like that okay so just the three little flowers sort of nestling around the, the edge of that sentiment box so if I can remember that it'll be a first time so it's that sort of like yeah okay I get all excited with my placement and then by the time I've put my dimensionals on, I come back and I can't remember where I've put it. People are probably watching the videos going, it's too high, it's too low. Anyway, I think that's roughly where I've got it. Let's go there. Okay, so let's bring these others in. This first one, it's just going to be glued on and I'm going to snuggle it just under the sentiment box a bit there. You obviously can't go too far in because there's some dimensionals there and we wouldn't want to to be honest the other two are going to have dimensionals of their own just on the leaves probably is safe because we don't want to overlap we're going to actually pop it onto the sentiment box so there like that and pop a bit of glue just on the main flower there where it sits on the sentiment box just bring that one in. There we are. And then this one is the one that we wanted to make sure didn't overlap too much, and that's going to sit at the bottom there. So again, he needs a couple of dimensionals just on his leaves. And then a wee bit of glue. There. 
come off. Here we are. Here we are. Cute. Mega cute. Okay, as I say, nice and simple, this one. Um, just some bling. Now, you will have the white version of our opaque adhesive gems so the the white one it should be in your kit and again you'll have three per card so if you're doing the double kit you'll have six all up so just pop those around as well and the white on white is just so nice Okay, that's our card number three. Really like that one. I like them all, as you can tell, but I like that one too. It's a little bit different to the other two. Okay, so that is our three cards for this month. Um, hope you enjoyed those and hope you enjoy um, getting use out of that stamp set for a long time to come. I really think it's quite, yeah, it's going to be, as I say, it's going to be a keeper in my craft room as well. So hopefully you'll um, get to get to, get to enjoy yours as well. Um, cool. So that's it. That's our three cards for today. We've got our hello. We've got our yellow, our yellow hello, our thanks with our nice big flower and our little layered hello card as well. So I hope you enjoyed those. As I say, new feature. We've got our QR code up here in the corner. Um, if you enlarge the image, put your camera on that, you can go straight to my online store and purchase all of these products um, from the current um, mini catalogue, which um, it's really a highlight. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, as I say, if you haven't purchased this class and you'd like to, please send me an email or pop over to my Facebook page to, um, to get the details. I'm not sure what next month's going to be, but I'm sure it will be um, very, very beautiful like this one. Okay, so thanks for joining me and I'll see you all next time.